detectives have now been on the scene for nearly 18 hours, and we did find out, as you mentioned, that gang skirmishes brought this event to the verge of shutdown right before the bullets rang out, and you can hear that in amateur video we just obtained. The roughly 1,000 people in the area at the time ran for their lives as rival gang members opened fire. Also, I hear like five sounds like firecrackers. Pop, 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 pop. Followed up by like 10 more sounds of that sound were more intense. So at that point, I'm like, this is not firecrackers, this is, like, this is gunshots. The crime scene over there, bro. Trenton police and security guards were also right there and shot all three suspects, killing one, Tahij Wells. The Mercer County prosecutor says he was just released on parole four months ago following homicide related charges. Many of the organizers have been uh, praising the Trenton Police Department for their quick and, and decisive response. And frankly, if it wasn't that type of response, I think we'd be talking about more victims than just 22. Among that number are two other suspects. One, Amir Armstrong, remains in critical condition. Several innocent bystanders are also in stable condition. Most are at nearby Capitol Health Regional Medical Center, where there's a heavy police presence. City leaders say the annual art festival, now in its 12th year, was becoming increasingly popular and crowded. With that in mind, there were serious discussions about safety before this year's event. There were no metal detectors, but they uh, represented that they had additional, uh, their own patrol along with our city police that would be uh, here to keep the peace during the evening. And investigators are searching social media, specifically Facebook, to find out if they should be looking for more suspects or to find out if this was sort of pre-planned violence via social media. Live